So here I am with the legend that is Stu Goliath Jones, with your dressing gown on. Yeah, creature comforts. How are you feeling right now? Uh, quite relaxed, um, looking forward to it. Hoping to be a member of a team as well by getting everybody else through it and making sure they're all relaxed. We are quite a relaxed camp. There's not loads of aggressive noise going on, but everybody's out slowly talking and everything's quite quite relaxed back there. It's quite impressive. Do you feel nervous at all? Yeah, nerves, nerves always kick in and like this, but it's how you handle them and, and handle them the right way between the rest of the lads up and get behind them. And, yeah. So, Stu Goliath Jones, tell me more about that. Um, it was, I had a, a, a different nickname. Um, ready and um, one of the other guys put David and Goliath under a picture um, when I was sparring with somebody else and then uh, one of the red guys after our last um, what we did when we got fixed up uh, after the kiss incident somebody put David versus Goliath goes in for a kiss or something like that so I thought fair enough we'll go with that. So this is not all you guys have been waiting for. How are you feeling? Absolutely over the moon. Buzzing, buzzing. I can't wait. Really can't wait. Are you prepared for what's ahead of you? Couldn't be any more prepared of a try. I've got no idea. It sounds like all sorts has been going on over the past 10 weeks, but it sounds great. Anyway, um, I'm told that your entrance is going to be quite spectacular. Um, hopefully it's going to be something different. Um, I'm not, no one knows, only uh, the, the girlfriend that knows and my friend that burned it off. Um, the lads have been organising something about it and it's been quite good because it's taken the edge off of what's going on everybody's had something else to talk about but yeah wait and see i've been training really hard now for the last 10 weeks and it's all built up to this night so i cannot wait so tell me are you gonna win i'd like to think so i'm not gonna be arrogant but i'm gonna try cool well good luck thank you and have you got many people here supporting you tonight over 100 so a lot of people are from Ireland and everything so it's good but wow well best of luck thank you very much
so fight 11 David luck of the Irish Hewitt minibus driver 29 from Portishead against Stu Goliath Jones a feet ceiling fixer 36 from Death Valley and straight away Jones comes flying out looking to land big big right hands pushing his man back good mobility from Hewitt and he'll need it ducking his head there as Jones comes flying forward ducks again Hewitt and they lock up Jones pushing his man into his corner. Referee breaking them. And again, Jones looking for that big single punch. Two very big men in there at the moment. Jones lands the body, but it's not clean at the moment. It's all quite scrappy. Tying up a lot. Jones pushing forward again. Hewitt trying to work to the body. Jones puts in two big rights to the body there. And away they go again. But Hewitt will get his head guard adjusted. And out they go again, ready. As I said, nothing clean as yet. Very scrappy at the moment. Just need to settle behind their boxing. As Hewitt tries to do, well, again, Jones looks for that big right hand, that one shot that will end this fight. So it's a scrappy, difficult first round to judge between these two big men. So round two or three and let's see if one of the two men can land with a clean shot that could turn this fight around. Nothing clean in the first so far. Nice stiff jab attempt from Hewitt. And again Jones looking to land with that big right. Hewitt getting through with his jabs but ducking very low after he's thrown his shots. And away they go once more. And a good stiff jab again from Hewitt as Jones comes forward. And Jones again looking just for that big right hand. Got to set it up. If you're going to land it, set it up with something else first. Hewitt working behind the jab. Better with the big right to the body from Jones. And they tie up once more. Hewitt working to the body. It's the sheer size of Jones as he pushes forward that makes it difficult for Hewitt. Comes over the top with the jab, swinging right arms again from Jones, pushing his man against the ropes. It's not a pretty fight, this one, by any stretch of the imagination. Big left attempt, then the right from Jones. 
Hewitt pushing him back this time, looking for an overhand left. And the end of a second round. But if you look at it, Hewitt did get through with the jab on a couple of occasions. Maybe that will be just the difference between these two men, the jab of David Hewitt. So third and final round, and Hewitt springs forward into action, Jones looking to match him now, clips him with the big right hand but Hewitt turns his man and you can hear the crowd's response, turns him again as Jones tries to tie up. Waiting for Jones to come forward, then throws the left, lands with it cleanly once more. Hewitt turns his man. They're ready to go again, Jones showing the first signs of fatigue. Hewitt still light on his feet, throws the left, then the right. Stiff jab as Jones comes in again. And I think that's the difference between these two fighters here. The jab of David Hewitt. And again, fakes it, then lands it. Jones pushing forward once more. Hewitt turns him nicely. Throwing shots as Jones comes in. Jones breathes deeply once more. And again, Hewitt looks to lead with that jab. And it lands in the face again. Ducks away from the big right hand of Jones. The second one lands. Hewitt moves out of the way of that right hand. Looks to throw his own left jab. Jones leans into him again. Pushing forward, but Hewitt's accurate with that jab. Last 10 seconds now of what's been not a pretty encounter by any stretch of the imagination, but it has been tough and it has been brutal at times. And I think the red corner, Hewitt, is going to take that for the jab alone. Let's see, it's 5 all at the moment. I've got a feeling that red will go ahead again after working consistently behind that jab. Yes, it's a fair decision. David Hewitt, the jab is what did it. It's the jab that did it. Yeah. 